we should never not be outraged about the fact that Donald Trump is caging migrant children at the border, that families are being separated. That is unacceptable. That is unforgivable. But a new report from the Associated Press details just how broad this policy is, you know, the scope of it, how many people this is affecting. And the number is larger than even I imagined. So as Ellen Higgins of Common Dreams reports, the U.S. held a record 69,550 migrant children in detention facilities in 2019, a Tuesday report from the Associated Press and PBS Frontline found, leading to major psychological and physical harm and lasting trauma. No other country held as many immigrant children in detention over the past year as the United States. 69,000 550, said AP tech reporter Frank Bajak in a tweet promoting his colleague's work. The physical and emotional scars are profound. The story lays out in excruciating detail the emotional pain of victims of President Donald Trump's child separation policy, focusing on, among others, a Honduran father whose three-year-old daughter can no longer look at him or connect with him after being separated at the U.S. border and abused in foster care. I think about this trauma staying with her too, because the trauma has remained with me and still hasn't faded, the father told AP. 69,550. That is nearly 70,000 children who will put up with lifelong trauma, likely mental health issues, PTSD, all because of Donald Trump's xenophobic zero tolerance immigration policy. Now, that's not to say that previous administration were, weren't also incredibly barbaric. George Bush was barbaric. Uh, Barack Obama had the alien transfer exit program. So Donald Trump, though, is basically the logical conclusion of our unusually cruel immigration policy, which essentially uses cruelty as a deterrent, which tries to send a message to other migrants, hey, if you come here, this is what you have to look forward to. This is what we will welcome you with. And it's just, I mean, what do you even say to this? If you support Donald Trump still, even after learning about this, you have no morality. You're morally bankrupt. And I don't like to make sweeping generalizations about people's moral character, but how can you turn a blind eye to this? How can you say, you know what, I'm voting for him in spite of this, regardless of of whatever other economic reason you may or may not have. How can you justify this? This is mass human suffering being caused in concentration camps in the United States in 2019. 69,550 children, as young as her, a toddler. That picture is going to keep me up at night because it is so tragic I have a nephew who's that age, and to think that he would be separated from his mom is heartbreaking to me. And think about why they came here in the first place. Because of the violence in Latin America largely due to our war on drugs. Because we destabilize their countries by overthrowing their governments. They're coming here because it's our fault. And this is what we welcome them with. The United States of America does not give a flying fuck about human rights. If that wasn't already clear to you, then it should be crystal clear now. We don't care about human rights. Period. From this to the way that we turn a blind eye to, you know, the systemic subjugation of Palestinians. It's just we don't care. We don't care. This is an international outrage. This is morally reprehensible, and this is what our government is doing. And what are we concentrating on oftentimes when we talk about this issue? Whether or not calling them concentration camps is the correct language. Whether or not it's politically correct to say we should abolish ICE, or if that's disrespectful or not. I mean, this is how far we've fallen. It's not just that we're separating children from their parents. This is something that will stay with them. For the rest of their lives, they will be traumatized by this experience. Now, the response from right-wingers will be, well, Mike, they could have just chose to stay home. 
right? Um, this is not a choice for a lot of people. And even if it is a choice, even if some of them just choose to move here because they want to give their family a better life, would you do something different if you felt like you had the opportunity to improve your children's lives? Like, I just, I don't know what to say. There's really no words for this. It's just, it's a moral outrage and no commentary can really explain the cruelty of this. So, I'll leave that there because I don't know what else to say. This is incredibly heartbreaking and I want to share this picture around because I want it to really demonstrate what the American government is about. This is what we're about. We're not about promoting democracy. We're not about human rights. This is what we represent now. Traumatizing children because we don't want their parents to come here because let's face it, they're brown. That's what this is about. We're pro-immigrant insofar as those immigrants are white. Let's be honest. That's what this is about. It's not about legal or illegal immigration. That's code for white and non-white immigration. So I'm sick of it. I'm done beating around the bush. It's disgusting. Yeah, that's it.